Hey guys! Welcome! My hair is mental today. I think I see that every single day. What is up, everybody? Welcome to some The Walking Dead. So, The Walking Dead Season 3 is coming out in November. I think it's November. And even though I have played this, I played it a long time ago. I played this back in 2000... Uh, 2012, I think. So, I don't necessarily remember too much about it. Uh-oh. Okay, that scared me. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't necessarily remember too much about it. Uh, that was my brother, that's fine. So, I'm not gonna go over his slot. We're gonna go standard. Minimal doesn't really show uh, hints and notifications. So I think I'm gonna go with standard. Episode 1. Hopefully I have downloaded every single episode. But this stream just now is gonna be just the one episode. I'm gonna break them up in two episodes so that if you guys miss this live, you can watch it back episode at a time. So, it's very story-based, this game. So don't expect me to be chit-chatting all the way through it because it is a story-based game, of course. So I got my comfy and I'm good. Yeah, that coffee's not good actually. I made it myself, by the way. Zombies! Let me know if the game audio is fine. Well. well, I reckon you didn't do it then. But they really have this kind of a conversation. Um, why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Um, every time? Every time? Every time. Okay, so I can move around with this little thing. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Uh, so you've got an opinion, oh yeah. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you kill. Who did he kill again? I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? Um, I kinda like this guy, so... Okay. <laughs> sure. Truck. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. you. Uh, or she married the wrong guy? <sighs> oh, doesn't say it. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, with big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. He snotted on my chair? Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. 
but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I guess they would, though. Well, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more Wait, 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 wait. I do say oh, so. Oh, shit! This other time... <laughs> Should have gone to spec savers. He should have been focusing on the road rather than his story. Oh shit! Damn it! I'm cuffed. Thirsty. Ah. Fuck. My Ouch! That's gonna hurt. Oh, he got thrown from the car. He's screwed. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Well. Zombies. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Oh, you're welcome, Hallie. Did you manage to reach your goal on Twitch? Okay, so use the right stick to look around, find a way out. Smash this. Uh. 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 The, like, the sounds are really good. Uh, let me get out. Jesus, we got like thrown miles. Okay, so left analog. So I started playing uh, the Jurassic Park Telltale game. But there's actually no movement in that game, whereas this game has movement. Can I take this? You can reach it! Looks empty. Oh. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs on. Okay, so we are gonna take it. Need it. Uh, shotgun shell? Can I pick that up? Bend with your knees! Goodness me. Oh, I did pick it up. Right, cool. Oh, officer. Officer? <gasps> Is you dead? Oh, that's conveniently placed keys right there. Oh, I don't like the way the view is right now. His leg is broken? No, it's not. Just a flesh rune. Sh oh my god. You wouldn't stand next to a dead guy and get these off. I wouldn't. I'd move to the side. Rose, then. Officer. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy! Use the left stick to get away. Get back! What in the hell? Throw the shotgun shell at him! <laughs> get away from me! Uh, I've already got it on me. You're a moron! Oh! Stick it in! Don't make me do this! Kill him! Good 
goodness gracious. Okay, well, I'll give it that. I think his leg is broken. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everyone. Welcome to the VOD, if you're not watching live. Alfie! we safe for now. Look at the size of these houses. I want to live here. Hello? Anybody? Oh, wow. I really want to live in a place like this. I was about to say, is the camera angle going to zoom in or is it just going to stay out? I need some water. Give me some water. Okay, let's examine. I wonder if anybody's home. It'll be zombies home. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Uh, okay. Yank it. Here you go. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? I'm just here for some milk. Ah, Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Ugh. These people might need more help than I do. So, okay, let's just figure this out for a second. So he was on his way to jail. And they've just been in a car accident as the outbreak has happened. So he doesn't know what's going on, I guess. Oh! Answering machine. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Looks Let's like boobies on the top. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 9 one, one We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Huh? Uh, 
I played this back in 2012, but I can't remember a thing about it. So, it's been that long since I played The Walking Dead, I can't even remember what I'm supposed to do. Um... Hubble, hubble. Right, so we looked at that. Um... Having it? Nothing. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is good. I mean, how can it be ransacked if this has just happened? Ugh, I wouldn't touch that if I was you. Walkie walkie. Hello? You need to be quiet. Um, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Uh, so we know where her parents are. What's her name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Uh, how old are you, little one? How old are you? Eight. Jesus. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> you is ancient. Uh, where is your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Uh, are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hey, Clemmy! <laughs> oh, shit! Where? Oh, my God. Why am I gonna die? From. Did you kill it? Uh, yes, I guess. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um... Look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down? Do we think that if we do it when the sun goes down, there would be less of them out? I don't think so. Uh... If we look for help before it gets dark... Probably... Better, I think. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. 
Stay close to me. Oh, she's holding my hand. Yeah, zombies in dark is like not a good mix. Okay. Off we toddle. No, 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 don't go that fast. I got a gammy leg. Can you wait? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, well, she obviously. Why am I walking this way? So we have a walkie talkie in our inventory. Please do not go off ahead, Clementine. Uh, we got... Oh shit, there's a guy there. What am I doing? Why am I hiding? <laughs> there's a real life person there and I'm hiding. Oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Okay, I think they're all right. Clementine, come on, please. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Um, they won't, but I don't want to be a dick. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. How do you plan this sort of stuff, though? Like, I wouldn't know what to do if I found a little girl. I would have hey, no man. clue. Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Um, right. What is going on? Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Just some guy. <laughs> Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... I don't think she should stay. The monster's come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. This time... Oh shit. Uh, push it. Someone get in the truck. Oh my god, oh my god, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Please don't tell me I have to push it again. Go, 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 go! For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. The one, I think. I think I had too many sugary drinks last night, um, so I'm trying to avoid sugar to see if that helps. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Um, let's be nice and suck up. <laughs> your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just 
Some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Of course she doesn't! Yes. Okay, okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. So he clearly just said that Lee found Clementine and then he's like to her, do you know this man? It's Let's have a look. No. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Um, I'm gonna be nice to this guy because he's putting us up. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Um, car accident? Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? <laughs> I was going to jail. Um. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Uh? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full Hi, all right. Mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Just been alone. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Um, I'm trying to be honest in this place. Your right? son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Um. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Uh -huh. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. But Clementine said she wanted to stay close right to her house. Weird. It smells like... <laughs> Shit. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a no, it wasn't. Don't lie. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. That's heartbreaking. She's like eight years old. With a complete stranger and doesn't know where her parents are. I love you, baby. <laughs> so I don't want to ask why he was going to jail yet because I'm sure we'll find out um, as the story progresses but I'm just being hey, nosy get up <sighs> oh, I'm itchy well you slept in a barn little lady Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. 
We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. <laughs> Ducky! Uh, dodging. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Um, we'll ask Clementine. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? <laughs> cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Are you sure? I can't even work a tractor. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Uh, so someone in the chat just then was saying, why was Clementine home alone? Um, she, she wasn't home alone. She had a babysitter. And you have such pretty obviously hair. the babysitter got infected. So that's why Clementine was all alone. You having a nice time with Katya, Clementine? Yeah. Uh, can I talk to Katya? No? Oh, no, I can. Hold on. Hey there, girls. Uh, they do. They look total chill, actually. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So wait, it must have started somewhere else if it's been three days and it's only just happened to Lee. Um, so, I don't know. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Um... Yeah. This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is... Refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Maybe it's because he doesn't want to go back, because if he goes back, that means he has to go to jail. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay, so she's under the, the impression that we can fix this. Um, I don't know, maybe we can, but I doubt it. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. <laughs> what was his name again? Uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Um, I'll just be honest. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. Wait, you think Lee was knocked out for a couple of days? I don't think so. Um, 
I don't know. I don't think so. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. I hope so. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> That's how I'm going to end a conversation when someone's still mid-talking. Wait, he catches dolphin? Fuck you. I love dolphins. We have dolphins um, down by where my parents stay. So, I love watching the dolphins, especially in the summer months. So, screw you. What are you saying, ducky boy? How you doing, duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Kids. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Um, yeah, I see a few of you are talking about the tip possibly being in the way. There's nothing I can do about that just now, but probably for episode two, I can get that sorted. It definitely is covering the bottom line of the subtitles, so I do apologize. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. That fence is not gonna keep anything out whatsoever. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh, uh yes. That bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, I don't know where my ex-wife is. No, let's well, not go with that one. Parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Uh, I have played Until Dawn. I've played it once through. Um, I played it on Twitch. Leon! Think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Holly, that terrified me! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the £3.85! <sighs> that, like, I literally just jumped a mile. <laughs> Thank you so much for the stream tip, Holly. <sighs> my poor little heart. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see what to do then. I think I have to go and talk to her, so. Also guys, if you are enjoying the stream, don't forget to hit that like button. We are so close to 100 likes. He's looking at me. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I told him yesterday. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm, well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan. 
Having a place like this, it was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. I agree with that. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Um, no wife anymore. No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Why doesn't he like me? Can I give you a piece of advice? Okay. Uh, sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! What the fuck? Got that ride to make it if you want it. Could you could you not save them both? Bad. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. At least Clementine's okay. That's all that really matters. I feel like I should have saved some full stuff. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. He's clearly not friendly. No, 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 no! Oh my god! Kid! 
Jesus. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. There's a little boy, you moron. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Uh, two but seconds, you Clementine. You're a dumb, careless kid. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Excuse me? Carly and uh, Clementine, where are you going? I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Was he? He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out. Or smash him. What? He's a little boy. Stop him. Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. Sit down. Boy, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> that's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. What? Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Uh, I'm gonna stop him. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Oh my god, Lee! Oh, get up! Oh my god, oh my god, what an idiot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh my god, someone help me! Thank you! Jesus! You okay? Just great, thanks. I like this girl. I like this girl. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. 
Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Oh, he's infected. Ah! Is he bitten? Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Oh, now she wants our help after being a douche lord. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, on his own? You're insane. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. So wait, is uh, Candy, I was reading the chat, is Carly some sort of military person, I wonder? Central High Take State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Okay, so let's get to know Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. That's like Steve Joe. Uh, what are you working on? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. That's so retro. Like, what year is this? Uh, power. Then. Hmm, nothing. I suppose the volume won't work if there's no power. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, she totally knew that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> no. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You'd look for batteries. So you can fire a gun, but you, you, you don't know what batteries are? Excuse me? <laughs> okay, I'll talk to him in a second. Right? A little bit weird. Okay, let's have a look around. Greeting cards. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead. Well, it has just been like three days. Oh. Oh, it's a battery. We've got one. Okay, so we just need another one. And what else do we have around here? I don't remember them very well. Who? Hey. I don't remember them very well. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. You're welcome. Okay, what is the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Oh, they owned this place. Hmm. 
They uh, own this place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. How does he know, though? Maybe they got away. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? I haven't even checked on her just yet. Um, we don't know if her family is dead, so I'm just gonna say she's good. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? No, it's not. I was gonna help them both. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice and kill Chuck. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. I like their friendship. Um, I'm looking forward to, to seeing how it progresses. I like how they are together. An energy bar. Could probably use one of those myself. Okay, I'm still looking for another battery. We could give it to Duck, but I think I'll give it to Clementine, maybe. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Your dad's an asshole. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. He didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. He fucking caused it. Like, don't you come at me, like, playing the victim. What do you think about Bitch? all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him, apart from the fact that he's a douche? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Uh, he's got a temper. He's got a, a tiny temper. temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. <laughs> it's just that... Yeah? Never mind, I'm sure he's a good guy. No, we got kids here, so he needs to stop swearing. We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that he seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Okay. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Thank you. At least you're not a complete cow. You from here? I work at Warner Robins. The Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. 
We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really Oh, dead. God. I'm gonna get back to him now. Alive inside. Oh my god. So, like... The dad pulled his parents out and they could have still been alive. Oh, I hate him even more. I literally hate him even more. Did I get it? Hey, I still haven't found another battery. Um, where could it be? I'll talk to you in a second, Clemmy. Aha! There it is. Okay. You right, girl? I'll give her a energy bar. Much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I think I picked up uh, another one too, so I could maybe give that to Doc in a second. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I just gave you food. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Okay. Um. We should get to know each other. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Any word from Glenny boy? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Okay, so we've checked in on Clementine. She's good. I'm just gonna go give the candy to Doug. Glad this place didn't get looted. But I mean, if there was candy bars hanging about, then there's no reason why his parents should have been taken outside. We just need to- It's not much, but here. Sand. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. We are so close to 100 likes, guys. We are 16 away. All right, so I see there's a room at the back there, but I'm just gonna go give the batteries to Carly. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. As long as the batteries aren't dead. Uh... It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look. Maybe the batteries are dead. Go ahead. Like Spike! Um, let's play. Got the batteries in the wrong way. Oh my god. You're so stupid. This chick, man. You fixed it. Continues to Wasn't hard, Carly. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one... God bless you all. Oh shit, that did not sound good. Hey, Carly. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Oh God. Is there anything else I can say to her? Hey there. He likes her from his face. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Excuse me? Huh? 
Huh? Oh, nothing. What? What, a, what kind of a compliment is that? Sorry, you're kind of cute in that parents' basement sort of way. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I better get back to it. Yep. Okay, uh, I haven't spoken to Doug yet, so let's see what he's saying. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Um, okay, let's have a look around. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Nice. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Thing is, how did this even happen? Will they explain? <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. It would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Thank you so much for 100 likes on the stream, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Clearly. What else we got here? I can't reach that brick. It's a combination lock. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Oh, the keys to the pharmacy. All right, okay. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? Everett. <gasps> oh shit! What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. You're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know? And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Shit. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. All right, okay. Uh, yes. Not much else to do here. Let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Okay, so... Someone he knows is outside. We think that the keys are possibly on him. But we need proof. Is that what they're saying? Hey, look at that. Fox, oh, I think I did. Um... Right, so I haven't gone in this. Yeah, Jesus. Help! Oh, scared me! Thank you so much for the five pound stream tip from Sean. No message, but thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you're having a good time in the stream. Thank you so much. Okay. So we fed the kids. This was the room that I think they said they pulled someone out of. Where's them over? I can't. I can't think about them Aww. in here. So this is where his family was hiding. The store leads to the back alley. Okay. Um. Oh, first aid kit. I could use that on my leg, maybe. Luckily, there's nothing I needed. Oh, really? My pants came in here hoping 
to survive, but it looks like one of them was her. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Oh, it's really sad. his brother find anything uh just a picture just a picture of whoever was here i know who you are you're lee everett you're a professor at athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wow mom. this is your parents store Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Leon! Help! Jeepers. Uh, no. <laughs> no. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay seconds, guy, guys. and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Okay, thank you so much for the £7.77 from a year old. Just a wee bit of pocket money for your hen. Get an ice cream. <laughs> Lewis, was that you? I'm sure that was, uh, Lewis. Okay, I think I trust Carly. Thanks. Don't worry about it. The fact that she said she's not going to tell anybody what she knows uh, just shows to me that I think I can trust her, so I'm happy with that decision. Okay, can I move this? was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. And his cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. I love you, Clementine. Let's see what else we can find. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh, let's see if she needs anything. You don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Don't kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? <laughs> My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you're cool. I think so. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. He's adorable. <clears throat> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? is a doctor and my dad is an engineer those are good jobs what's your job i uh, teach history and writing and things like that like um social studies yeah like that you didn't answer my question <laughs> all right a little further come on answer a question <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Oh, I will answer this one in just a second. I think we're being raided. Oh, we are! We're being raided Primo Trev, right? Is it? Hello! 
everybody. Um, I'm not sure who that is. I'm just about to, though. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Uh, we are playing The Walking Dead. Please, no spoilers or anything like that. Uh, thank you so much for the awesome raid. That is so cool. Quack for raid. Oh, thank you so much. Also, mods, can I just say, please, um, stop typing with the blacklisted words. You're kind of missing the whole point of it. So please stop that because you're encouraging other people to do it as well. But thank you so much for the raid. All right, let's carry on. Um, I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Should we tell her the truth? I kind of feel like we should because she'll find out anyway. I, uh, I, get, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. His wife was cheating on him. Oh! <gasps> Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Welcome, welcome, raiders. That is an epic raid. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. How many Walking Dead fans do we have? Help! Oh my god. Thank you so much for the two pound from Steel Chair. Oh my god. Okay, there is... Right, so we've looked at the bedding. First aid kit, there we go. This music is so sad. It's really sad. Can we get a like spike up in Lee? here? Oh. Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Um, then they'll find us. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Wait, she's got her walkie-talkie, but Glenn's got the other one. Does he not? So how are they gonna contact us? Get the remote for that thing in here someplace. There's a TV, but I can't switch it on. Can you switch the TV on? I don't think you can. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Ah, uh, okay, so we know the keys are out on the zombie on the street. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do here. Oh no, I haven't... Did I bandage her? I don't think I did. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Did I not pick up a bandage? Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Oh, he would make such a good dad, honestly. Okay, so I think we're done in this room. Let's go. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Um... I'm never gonna lie to Clementine. Never. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Okay, so we've openly admitted to her that uh, we killed somebody, so I'm not entirely sure what to do now. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. 
We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes, deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Hey there. Ah, okay. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, so I'm I'm pretty happy that I've looked at absolutely everything around this area, so I didn't look at this actually. Hold on. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Okay. Right, let's talk to Carly. Oh, I can give her food, actually. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Okay. Let's go. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Alright, we are gonna go and hopefully save Glenn. I don't want Glenn to die, because I quite like his character. Though we've already lost one character, which was, uh, because of the little boy. Get down! Alright, so where is he? Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. My god, what that thing is noisy. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. Over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Carly, you don't need to be like that. Okay. I am not good at Rocket League, so I will probably never play that. There's a lot of like glitches on the clothing of the zombies. Has anyone noticed that? So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay, peek over the wall, left stick. So there's one there. Oh, you peek for too long, you'll be seen. Okay. This. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. What, smother them to death? Good luck smothering them. Yeah, exactly. That's not really what I have in mind. What the heck are you gonna use a pillow for then? Uh... We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Okay. Use it as a silencer? Okay, there's... I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. 
So I'm not to be that way? We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Alright, so... Can't go that way, Deshant? We should keep looking around for weapons. Uh, wait, let's go to the truck and see what we can find. Oh my god, there's zombies everywhere. Right, examine the window. Let's have a look then, shall we? Wait. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Well, fine, we'll throw the pillow at it then. What are you gonna do with that? Any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Okay. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Right, okay, so we need to get the screwdriver, and obviously doing it with a pillow. Uh, not a good idea. Can I kill this one with a pillow? Get out your gun. But the noise? Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Would that work? That was sick. <laughs> Would that actually work? Surely not. Okay, so there's a zombie over there. You have to be careful with your light up on ramps like this. What is that? Uh, gear shift? It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. It's gonna be handy. Okay. Do I really want to push this? Because that's gonna cause a lot of commotion, but all right, let's just go with it. And I got ya. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, so that somehow didn't draw massive amounts of attention. Look up here again. Yes, I know there is, so I'm gonna see if I can get it. I can use the spark plug. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Really? <laughs> I don't know much about this sort of stuff, so I don't know if this is true or not. I could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so who's first then? We've got this guy here, which I can't get. So I think we need to go back across. I don't. I don't know anything about this sort of stuff. You cannot say that. Uh, let's go. Can I sneak up behind this guy now and kill him? It would work. That's interesting. So can I stab him? I'll wait for him to get No! No, in the face! Hit him, hit him. Her. Please, get him! The girl! Nice. Thanks for having my back. For Thanks, sure. Glenn. Okay, so three more. Okay, we're not getting that back. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that nice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? They're such boys. Oh my gosh. Two more. 
That should help. All right. Combat time. CZ mode activated. Why don't Good you one, Rena. Right just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. Okay, up we go. Easy does it, easy does it. I better keep my aim on them, that's a good idea. It looked like a girl. Oh my god, please let me not let me do anything! Woo! That's definitely a boy. Wow. Rad. Alright, we did. How is there wood on the outside? Did somebody lock her in there? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Uh, okay, let's use the axe. <laughs> I don't understand. Who locked her in? Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. We're trying to help you. What the hell? Oh dear. You're hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Come on! I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. No! Come with us. We will find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. He's gonna turn regardless. Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Shoot her. Help her out here. You're insane. Just take this thing. She might shoot us. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Ow. Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. We don't all have to watch, to surely. Okay. I'm here with you. You're a good man. She would kill herself everyone all right yeah we had some close calls but glenn is fine and well yeah we're okay i've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car good to hear it and things back here quiet our friend is still in and out over there he won't survive any more stress the next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy okay so We've got Glenn back. I should probably check on Clementine and see if she's okay. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Okay, let's see how Glenn is. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know? You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? It was like she was dead anyway. She didn't want to live. She didn't want to live. She would have found a way to end it. I... I guess. You can't make someone fight. We gave her the least painful option. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. <laughs> You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Those subtitles were way behind. Try to get some. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so obviously we need to get the keys, which is on his brother outside. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do this. Um... Okay, so we got a brick there which we can't reach. Oh, I can use the axe. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Okay, so I need to get across there. Uh, let's break this first and see what we can do. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Oh. Carefully. Oh, I feel so exposed. Where's a gun when you need it? Uh, the heck am I gonna do with a brick? Brick them to death? Hardware store. I guess we can brick the heart. There's no way it can throw it that far. No way. It's gonna miss by miles. Vandalism. Nice. I got an idea. Okay. Oh my god, they're so close to me. Uh That place is full of TVs and electronics. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I don't throw that bad. Uh... What can I do? How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Uh, I grew up here. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners. Why is it his crotch I'm yeah, speaking to right now? Good people. <laughs> Um, I don't know what to do. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has a key. It's not giving me the option to do anything. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay, um... Let's head back inside. Okay. I don't know, I'm... I'm at a loss as to what I'm supposed to do. Because... I don't know. So I've opened it up. I've left us completely exposed. 
and uh, have no idea. Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? Um, have some tissues ready. It's a very good story uh, so far. Very, very good story. Okay, maybe uh, find a remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Nothing on TV. Okay, so uh, is this all I need then? Bloody game puzzles. Who'd have thought? Okay, so I don't see how I, like unless I start bashing them with a remote control, I can't see how that's gonna. I don't even watch TV. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's go have a look around. Let's have a look around. Okay. Okay. What the heck am I gonna do with a remote? TV store? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. But if they have no power... Like the power's still on. How's that gonna work? You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Okay, so they're all gonna be attracted. Now's the time. Alright. We gotta run to get the keys. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? That was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Okay, we finally have the keys. It feels like it's been a long struggle. I feel like most of this episode has revolved around getting to know the characters and getting the keys. 
So, yeah, it's good. <gasps> oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Why would the alarm go off when I've got the keys?
We are totally exposed. I know, like, I wish we could have sacrificed the dad, because he's such a douche. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. It's none of her business. Get gone. I really don't like her. He has to go. He has to go. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. You'll figure it out, though. It's, it's one of those things where, I guess, the longer you're in the zombie apocalypse, you'll grow a thick skin. Maybe not everybody will, but... Some will. See what Kenny's saying. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, how about Clementine? Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. I love Kenny. He's badass. Can we talk to Katja? No. Um. Alright, let's see how Carly's doing. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Yeah, because he had that basement sort of way, right? I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I oh my god, I can hear a duck in the background Wait, constantly. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose... We both needed you. You picked me. I would have tried to help them both again. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Ugh. I hate losing characters in games. Doc, leave Clementine alone! Like, she's, like, chilling. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Mm. Oh, go here we go. This. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Uh, actually, no, I don't like her. Not really. Good. Stay away from her. 
where everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Bring it on, old man. I got your pills right here. Hey, Lee, do you have Oh, a God, what do you want? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. When did she get so chill all of a sudden? Okay, we don't have light anymore. No, it's the end of episode one. Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, whenever you thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening! No more, please! 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 <laughs> oh! That was so good! That was so good. Alright. So, 54% of us were honest. Only 30% chose duck. That's interesting. 54% uh, defended Kenny. 47% gave her the gun. Oh, I thought more people would have actually given her the gun. That's interesting. You and 48% of players chose Carly. So that's quite split on a lot of these. Definitely very, very split on all of these. So if I can just, I don't know if I can skip this or not. I don't think I can. So yeah, what did you guys think of episode one? I'm sure most of you have seen it anyway um i want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys for hanging out with me on episode one it was absolutely epic i can't seem to skip this however um oh no oh no i'm pausing it i'm being stupid it is quite old but a lot of people are still very interested in it which is really really cool so yeah i will be doing episode two tomorrow i'm gonna try and do an episode a day so that um, by the time season three comes out, I will be completely up to date. So I don't want to put two episodes in the one stream, Kirk. I'd rather split them up um, so that if people want to see uh, a specific episode, they can just click on that rather than having to go halfway through. So I will be back in just a short while, probably an hour and a half or so for the second stream. If you guys want me to do episode two tonight, we can do. I'm more than happy to go straight into episode two. But for now, I am coming off for a little break. 
And yeah, I will see you guys in just a little bit. Thank you so much for all the likes, all the donations. The music just stopped in my headphones. Uh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> oh, there we go, it's back. So yeah, thank you so much guys. Also thank you, uh, somebody raided us a little bit earlier on as well. Yeah, we'll do 400 days. We'll do the DLC when we get to that point. So, you guys want episode 2 tonight? We can do that. We can do episode 2 in an hour and a half or so because I want to go and get some food. I'm absolutely a starving Marvin. Hopefully it's not going to go straight on to episode 2. It's going to go back to the menu. I hope. Yeah. Alright. Awesome. Okay guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you all in just a little bit for episode 2. I hope you have an amazing hour. Make sure you come back in a bit.